Hi, I'm Steve with Safety Speed here in the Safety Speed Demo Center, uh, talking about our vertical panel saw line, starting with our C machines and then moving into the H machines. Uh, both models come in various heights. The C4 uh, is a, is a uh, 50 inch vertical cut. We also have a C5 that cuts up to 64 inches. And then the maximum depth of cut is one and three quarter inches on both the C and H models. The H machine comes in a four foot height, five and a six foot height. So if you're cutting a polycarbonate that comes in a 74 inches um, a height, then you can do that with the H6. Uh, key features of our machines, uh, the C would be more of a compact model where there's limited floor space. That's only a five foot wide frame um, and it is portable on wheels. We have both of them on wheels here. Uh, that includes the sign saw package of accessories. We have them on both machines. That includes a hold down bar and that holds uh, thinner materials against the frame as you're making cuts to limit vibration. That goes hand in hand with our backer board, which fills in behind right where the saw blade travels to stop vibration and hold material in place to get a cleaner cut. The five foot quick stop gauge, which is a sliding stop. Uh, that's a five foot version. We do have an eight foot version available. Um, and then lastly, or I'm sorry, second to last, the, the fixed stand is available uh, in that sign saw package along with a multi-purpose saw blade uh, for cutting ACM, acrylic, PVC, uh, most common sign substrates. Um, we've also got on display here on the C machine, due to the shorter frame and because longer materials can teeter on the frame, we've included these lower frame extensions. And that's another material roller located, actually bolted into position, located 22 inches out on both sides. And that helps with uh, that teetering of longer sheets. The advantage to getting the, the full size H uh, model is that that 10 foot length really supports material uh, more fully. And so a single person operation is a lot easier with flexible sheets, uh, sheets that are 10 feet in length. They're not gonna teeter on the frame because they're fully supported. Um, and now we're gonna run into a couple product demos. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate uh, on the H5 here how to rotate the saw head for horizontal cuts. First thing we do is remove that backer board. And uh, now you can kind of see what that does. That backboard fills that gap. We have embedded magnets in the backboard to hold it in place. Let's pull that down. Now your measuring indicator is on the left side of the carriage here. So let's say we're gonna set it for 39. Lock that into place with your rip lock. And then those two pins, that allows you to rotate the saw and that locks back into place. Now we're gonna be feeding the panel right to left. Uh, but first, uh, let's put on some dye bond and we'll make some sample cuts. Okay, and now we're gonna cut a little piece of dye bond. Notice you have measuring tapes on the right side and the left with the quick stop. So we're gonna cut about 16 inches here. So I'll just move that here, 16 inches. That hold down bar I've tightened, that's kind of holding against the material. Turn on my vacuum. All right, and then we remove this for horizontal cutting. Rotate the saw head. I'm just gonna take off a shaving off the top. Let's go with 37 inches. Lock that into place. Rotate. Get that locked into position. Turn our back.
If you have additional questions, please contact your Wensco sales rep or go to wensco.com.